Last weekend saw the most intense cycle of violence along the Israeli-Gaza border in nearly four years, with Palestinian militants firing more than 70 rockets into the Jewish state. Israeli leaders have said they will not tolerate the increasing stream of attacks emanating from the Gaza Strip, with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu threatening to escalate the country's response if the rocket fire did not stop. While Defense Minister Ehud Barak commented, if we are forced to go back into Gaza in order to hit Hamas and restore calm, we will not hesitate to do so. The mayor of Beersheba, a southern Israeli city targeted by Gaza-based militants, called on the government to put an end to the war of attrition between Israel and Palestinian terrorist groups. While Israeli ambassador to the UN Ron Prozer slammed the UN's failure to comment on rocket attacks from Gaza. The violence has caused normal daily life in Israel to grind to a halt, with many businesses being forced to close and children being unable to attend school. Perhaps sensitive to the lack of sympathy to Israelis' current struggles from the international news media, U.S. Ambassador Daniel Shapiro sent best wishes directly to Israelis on Facebook and reaffirmed the United States' support for Israel's right to defend itself.